Hi Kirsty, can you Hi. tell us a bit about what inspired you to get into music? Um, what inspired me? I've always loved music ever since I was really young and I get sent to piano lessons. Uh, I've always been singing. Um, ever since I went to primary school I've been in shows and stuff like that. And um, I've just always really loved music and it just kind of made me think one day, I was like, well I might as well try it <laughs> and see what happens. So um, I really enjoy it. So I love performing. And Okay, and uh, how did you how did you get to where you are now? After you left high school, what did you go to learn your craft? So learn my craft. <laughs> um, I went to the Royal Conservatory of Scotland um, for a, to do my degree, and I was the first year of the the new musical theatre course, the new degree course, and it's very kind of it's it's very different from normal musical theatre courses in that we do we have to do a lot of songwriting. We have to work on ourselves as artists as well as theatre performers. We work on ourselves as pop artists as well, and um, that really kind of helped me a lot to find kind of who I am as an artist and find helps you confidence building and everything like that. So. And uh, you did music at Barhead High School, didn't you? Yes, yes. I was still plugging away then. <laughs> Um, the music department in Barhead had brilliant and um, they really kind of helped me to, I uh, used to be in the school orchestra and the choir and um, always did the Stars in the Rise, <laughs> which is a few years back now. But um, So can you tell us a bit about what your latest project is? A um, latest project, I've just brought out a single, um, it's called A Touch of Class and you can get it on Amazon and uh, iTunes and Spotify. Um, it was written with a guy called um, Nick Prentice, in fact two guys, Nick Prentice and Dudley, um, and Nick produced it um, at the me um, Media Room Studios and it's um, it's basically just, um, the song's about kind of finding your, realising your goals and um, how much you have to to sort of fight to get there and you can't let, you can't listen to anyone else what they say. You just have to do it and see what you can do, um, which is quite fitting for what I'm trying to do at the moment as well. So, so when you're writing your music, when mm -hmm. you're performing, do you take a lot of inspiration from events in your life and and what you've went through trying to become the artist that you want to be? Um, yes, I do actually. Um, writing songs sometimes you sometimes you'll sit down and you'll not be thinking about anything. And that's when you write the best song. Like sometimes you, you'll just go and grab a guitar and start playing four chords, and then you'll get a tune come into your head, and then the lyrics will come. Other times it's much harder, and other times you have to kind of think about what's happened in your life. What can you take inspiration from? Um, maybe it's a person. Maybe it's an event. Um, there can be loads of different things that inspire you to write. And what kind of reception have you had from your single so far? Uh, really good. It's um, I've been playing. Um, it's played on Pulse Radio for Barhead. Um, well, for British for sure. And it's um, getting five star reviews on iTunes, which is quite good. <laughs> um, you never quite know how these things are going to work, how these things are going to kind of happen. But um, it seems to be going really well, and I'm really enjoying the experience of getting myself out there, trying to build a very small fan base, because that's all the things you have to do. Try and plug away and try and kind of find who you are as an artist as well and it's been really good to do that. And what was the experience like uh, filming a music video? Oh that was very strange. First of all you have to you have to mime and I, I, it was it was quite a new thing for me so um, yeah, that was quite that was, it was good really good fun to do a music video and um, got to play the piano in it etc uh, which is something that I love doing and it's just it's it's all quite surreal.